Uh, regarding crypto, let's check this out. What is an objective way to know if someone's investment is uh, doing good or not, especially regarding crypto? Someone's investment is doing good or not? Because sometimes we buy crypto and sell them at five times the price, but we still get disappointed because we uh, could have earned more. And other times we get disappointed because we lose money from crypto. So if is there object is there objective way to measure our success in crypto investing? The only thing I can think of is if you're you're at profit then that's what matters thoughts uh, now you can jason you can replace crypto by investing in anything like replace the word cryptos in with comic books with stocks with cars uh with collectible cars like pokemon anything paintings bottle caps like anything so how do you know uh if how, is there an objective way to measure our success your success it could be multiple fold if you're buying only stocks and you're not paying attention to them then the only value you're getting out of that is just the value of the stock for me if i'm buying comic books if the value of the comic book goes up great i'm gaining value there but it's not only it's not only limited to the value of the comic book general seafood thank you for the following gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs apologies if i'm not catching them right um is i get lost in the conversation so for me there's secondary and tertiary and multiple layers of pleasure uh return on investment that i'm getting from investing in comic books value going up fantastic i love the universe of comic books right so that's a benefit i love the history of it how it incorporates i love reading about some of the artists learning about it right i love the art i love the stories that comic books are sharing i love the time the state of mind that i get into when i'm reading comic books i love roll that out as a hobby as an investment for me roll that out into incorporating into the into the content that i'm creating so that's also a part of my work so my investment in comic books i'm just re answering your question in a more wider kind of way hopefully this will give you the answer that you're looking for my investment in comic books is layered and the benefits that i'm getting from comic books it's not just this monetary gain there's so much more to it right that it, it it puts me in a better state of mind so it's healthier for me i learn about things so how do you measure that so it's up to you how do you measure your objective in a in like what is what are you measuring are you just measuring the gains that you make in crypto as as the only thing you're looking for are you invested in cryptos or certain cryptos because you support the uh, what they represent what they're trying to roll out right so for example bitcoin when it first started being rolled out was a good store of value or trying to be a good store of value it was trying to be a currency right and uh, in a currency that is that provides anonymity and security right however it's rolled out right now bitcoin is more of a collectible a digital collectible and we've talked about this right so bitcoin is not really a currency anymore so if your if your purpose in investing in something has changed over time you have to reevaluate your investment for me a while ago i put out an article saying wall street is getting into cryptos i'm pulling out into bitcoin sorry specifically bitcoin and i'm pulling out because i'm not interested in in supporting being a part of something that centralized power is acquiring and mutating that into uh taking away it's one of main variables right one of its main metrics which was for it to become a currency right 
it's more of a collectible now to a certain degree and there's a lot of centralization happening with it on that front there are a lot of other cryptos that are more geared more towards being in currency right so you know i'm not answering you i don't i don't know if i'm providing the answer you're looking for i'm just letting you know the question you're asking me can go in any direction that you want right why are you investing in crypto and if you're investing in crypto just to play the markets then do what you would do with any market right if if you sold when your money quadrupled and if you held on your money would have gone up tenfold are you sad that you quadrupled your money lesson learned maybe next time don't sell your full position if you believe in the concept in this project that you're investing in right maybe hold on to it half of it and then sell the other half general rule in the markets general rule in the markets in wall street anyway you invest in something it doubles sell half pull your original uh, investment out and if you still believe in that company that that system right that you've invested in and you think it has a future let it ride right why would you treat trading in cryptos any differently